Your nose isn't the only thing that can smell things. You can smell through your skin. And that was a big surprise on one of our expeditions. I dive into a lot of these underwater caves, what we call blue holes. And maybe at about 30 feet, you hit like these wild looking colors. That's actually the pigments in the cells of individual bacteria. And you start smelling something. Well, you're smelling hydrogen sulfide gas. And it's that same rotten egg smell that you get out of sulfurous springs that in high concentrations is extremely toxic. You have a regulator in your mouth, you're wearing a mask, so it's not coming in your nose, you're not breathing it in, yet you're smelling hydrogen sulfide and it's actually going through the pores in your skin. If you end up spending enough time in it, you stop smelling it. It actually deadens the olfactory nerves. And that's a sign we use to ourselves that we've been in it too long, get through it or come up. These animals live in our buildings, they get up on our roofs. They even go into the sewer system to get away from traffic and people and can move for considerable distances using those tunnels.